Hello everyone, this is Casey from iSugar. Today we have questions about how can we convert or de fish or de warp a fish eye video into eco rectangular format for VR without using extra plugins or software inside Adobe After Effects. Okay, let's check it out. Here is a sample footage taken with our MK200 on the Seacam E2. And when we want to capture in full circular format, we have to make it in the four third ratio. Otherwise, it cannot capture the full height of the circular image. However, when the footage was in the four third ratio, it cannot be converted efficiently within the uh, after effect because the plugin is not ready for this kind of ratio. So before we can make the magic happening, we have to crop the circular uh, video and make it and save it as a square shape one to one ratio square shape video. So we are cropping the uh, video into a square with 2900 pixels. We are leaving some black space at the top and the bottom because it was a little clipped when we are applying the footage. Okay, let's drag this uh, square shape video into the library in After Effect and we are making a new composition. The comp size shall have to match your wanted VR size. So in this case, we make it 5.7K. We click OK and drag this square shape video into the working space. Now we are going to the effect menu and there's an immersive video. There's a VR converted function here. We check on this one. As for the input field, we make it fish eye. It's not looking nicely because we have not set the right correct parameter. In the FOV field, but default it was staying 180, which is not correct for our case because our lens is with 200 degree field of view. Ta-da! Once the 200 was filled, you can see all vertical lines, they were restored correctly, right? Because in our lens design, this is a perfect f theta lens. We are with a perfect uh, EQ distance projection. So this simple uh, converter program can unwarp and defish our fish eye in a very high quality way. So when you're checking the P view in the AE, when we are pressing the space, you can see the video has been developed very nicely. So you may want to do some all kind of other um, editing in your After Effects or back in the Premiere, it's all up to you. So thanks for watching and if you have some other question about how to edit the VR video, feel free to send me a message and I will try to solve them as soon as possible. Thank you and keep in touch. Bye-bye.